Hello, boys and girls. Today we're going to learn all about quid pro quo. Quid pro quo doesn't need to be explicit. If you allude to doing something illicit, implying favors for what you solicit, that's a clearly impeachable offense. Yeah, we thought Trump's team couldn't go lower, but when they heard from this brave whistleblower, they did all they could to make discovery slower by trying to hide the evidence. We knew no one in the White House had skills for a crisis like this to handle. Plus, it sounds like an old joke from the Catskills. A comedian and a failed reality star walk into a scandal. Trying to intimidate or threaten a witness proves their utter lack of decency or fitness, as well as showing everyone that they're scared shitless, as Trump's making even less sense. And I realize the bar's pretty low. If it was all above board, then why the cover-up? They just prove there's more we need to go see. Plus, there's others like Pence that this'll hover up. Then we'll end up with President Pelosi. So now that the impeachment drums are beating and Trump is frantically panic-tweeting, this basic lesson bears repeating. You don't need explicit quid pro quo by Donnie to show his actions are like a mafioso con. He's abetted by Bill Barr and Rudy Giuliani, whose grip on sanity is really rather scrawny. Anyway, now you know, so you don't need to Google quid pro quo.